Welcome, Heartache Connoisseur listeners. This is your host, Marty Carpenter. I'm coming to you from my office today. This is uh, my favorite mug ever right here. This is my old uh, orange drug rep coffee mug back when they still gave us free stuff, which they don't don't do that anymore. This one's got a broken handle, and it's all stained on the inside. I never wash it. Uh, It's priceless to me. But... I was reminded of something real simple today. I had a I had a guy and his wife come in. They've been having some marriage problems, and turns out they listen to this podcast, and evidently it's been helpful to them in pretty profound ways. Which, of course, I found somewhat surprising. <laughs> but you know, this lady was telling me that she was really thankful for it and uh, how it had been helpful in her life and I was really deeply moved I felt I felt really moved and humbled and um, I just think that we don't do this enough where if somebody in our life has done something helpful meaningful uh, we don't tell them and it makes a world of difference. I was thinking back to this guy that I knew in my residency training who encouraged me to go into private practice, you know, to open up my own place and really give it a shot. And I'm not sure I would have done it without his encouragement. But he really helped me believe that it was possible. And I'm, I've been forever grateful to him for that. I'm not sure I've ever told him. I've been thinking about writing him a letter for a while, but maybe this is me... Um, holding myself accountable in recorded form here. But that's something you can do. Uh, this is a tip that I, uh, I picked up out of a book called Thanks. And you can write a letter or an email or something to somebody. Maybe you have several people, but for most people, there's at least one, maybe two people that intervened in your life in such a way at some point that it made a real difference. It sent you in a different direction. It pointed you, um, it pointed you somewhere where when you look back, you know that if it weren't for that moment in time, things likely would have been really different for you. And uh, we should tell people about it. And, and it's not even for them, it's for us. It's because we need to take inventory of where we've been We need to take a look back at the signposts along the way. And we need to be thankful and have gratitude. And it really completes that cycle. It closes that loop when we actually tell somebody about it. I'm sure it makes their day. But when that lady and that guy were telling me that they listened to this thing and it was helpful to them, tears came to my eyes. And it made me want to do this better. It made me want to get up out of bed every day and get my rest and and take my obligations seriously and take responsibility for the things that I've been given to do in this life. And I believe God gives us gifts. He, he's called me to this, and I think he's called everybody to something. And when we follow that call, things happen. Fruit happens. This, this concept of bearing fruit where these, you know, these trees, they, uh, they take several seasons sometimes before they get mature enough to bear any fruit. And I, I see that parallel in my own life. And uh, I'm hopeful that maybe I'm entering a season where I'll see some fruit. Some fruit from this podcast and uh, that, that it'll matter. So this, this is more than a hobby to me. It's, it's something that I think has the potential to be uh, influential. And I hope that it is. And if it is for you, share it, pass it around. Feel free to give me any feedback anytime. And if there's somebody in your life that's been influential along the way, why don't you give them a shout? Give them an email. Give them a call. Tell them thanks. And uh, I think it'll warm your heart and it'll warm theirs. And I think you'll find yourself 
lighter and happier and more motivated and uh, more thankful for everything else that's good in your life.